Hello, how are you doing? Welcome. I'm going to walk you through what I want you to do when you start um, this course with me. I'm going to start by looking at the email that I sent to you. I sent you an email for Trig, and we're going to look at that together. If you don't have that email, then I want you to email me back at sl. A M K I N seven four at gmail.com. But I sent you this email and it says, Students, I have attached documents for you. Print the attachments, read the welcome letter, follow instructions on getting started, read the hints, and here are your deadlines. And I've included those deadlines. This is an online course. Um, you will have four chapter tests that are on the computer and a midterm and a final that are taken paper and pencil. And um, should the paper and pencil midterm and final need to be on Zoom proctored, then uh, I'll give you more information about that later. But all of your dates are right here in your um, email. The attachments. We're going to start here with the registration information. All of your work is going to be done in Pearson's My Math Lab. Nothing shows up in Blackboard for this course. Pearson has built My Math Lab, and it is a wonderful platform. It has everything in it that we need. If you will follow the instructions on this sheet, it will walk you through how to enroll. The textbook is digital. It's embedded in the platform. I think the cost is generally around $100 for you to buy access to the platform and, and the books included. So that's, that's your fee there. Um, the course code is here. Um, that They'll ask you for that as you proceed with these instructions. Um, you follow all these instructions here and it'll get you into the course. And I'm going to go into the course in just a second. I also want to show you the other attachments. You've got the hints, and you just want to read this as you begin to work homework problems. Um, if you've not used my math lab before, it's just going to talk about how they want you to enter fractions and things like that into your um, homework assignments. You have a formula sheet for trig. Um, it's got a whole bunch of information on there. You want to print that. You want to keep it handy every time you sit down to do your, to do your work. Here's the syllabus. You want to read your syllabus. I know you read your syllabus for each course, but you sure want to read this and, and be familiar with it. There's no surprises in there. I'm not the kind of person that's going to surprise you with anything, but you do want to read your syllabus so you'll know all the benefits for the class. I included a couple of trig formula sheets. There's another one. Um, and the unit circle sheet. So you'll want to print those things out, have them handy. What I want to show you today is, well, what do you, how do I get into the course? Well, you go to Google. Chrome is what it likes the best. And you go to that. If you clicked on that Pearson link, it'd take you here. Pearson, My Math Lab and Mastering. And you're going to register as a student if you haven't already. Um, if you've already used this, then you may just need to sign in and, and, and add this extra course. So you'll go in here. To student allow pop-ups assignments only adjust your settings I should have handled this before I started this little um, I don't want to troubleshoot pardon me I want to allow pop-ups let me go say always. You you may have the same thing happen. So maybe it's a good thing you saw me do that. Went to that little box and said, yeah, hey, I want to allow them. Um, here are the things you need to get started. Your email address. I want the one you're going to check the most often. I want the one that's going to pop up on your phone. Because if I'm looking in and you're about to miss a deadline, I'm going to send you an email. And I want it to pop up on your phone and say, hey, as Lampkin said, um, i, I got to have something done by midnight tomorrow night. Um, I'm always available to answer questions if you need me to answer questions, but um, so put in the email address that you're going to check most often. The course ID, um, 
that was in that registration letter. And then you'll have to have some way to purchase it. So that's as far as I can take you here um, without going into the course myself. But I do want to show you what it's going to look like when you get into your course. So I'm going to go back in to the Pearson site. And I'm going to sign in as me. And I'll show you what the student version looks like so that you'll be familiar with it. going to happen every time. Right there. Okay. Okay. And you're going to go in. Now, maybe you have uh, more courses than one. If so, they'll show up. Um, here I'm teaching um, college algebra and trig, so we'll look at the trig. And this is what it's going to look like when you log in each step. You're going to come to your home page. And I'm going to work on this. Any of y'all that are super great at helping me get this fixed, send me an email and tell me what to do. I'd be glad to, to hear from you. Be exciting to start my uh, semester off with you helping me in this block up, this block thing. Um, this is a different computer than what I'm used to. So you'll look here and it says instructor home and it's got um, the date, the time, and it says view student home. So we're going to look. What is it going to look like to you? So it's going to show you, of course, you know, this is two weeks out. Um, I put out an announcement and then it's going to show you for two weeks. So let's look at what's going to happen if we look at the whole month. And you're going to see I've set some things to be due on August 31st. And it's going to tell you what's due. Chapter 1, Section 1. Chapter 1, Section 2, 3, 4. The test and the study guide. Now, you need to do the study guide before the test, but the way this pops up is I guess I assigned the test prior to the study guide, so it popped up ahead of there. So do the study guide first. Now, where do you where are you going to do these at? Well, you could click on them here, okay? Now, remember, we're at Course Home. Um, or you could come down here to Assignments and go to your homework page. There they are. There are your homeworks. These are homeworks. All of these are blue dots and they're all homeworks. When you get through with chapter one, section one, one, two, one, three, one, four, and the study guide, come over here and click, drop down to test. There's your chapter one test. Now it is timed, it's 120 minutes. You get two attempts. Okay? When you start this test, it's gonna, you got 120 minutes. Make sure you're not needing to be somewhere in an hour. So you got 120 minutes to do this. And you get to do it twice. So if you're not happy with your first score, you can go back in and you can try it again. And I'll take the higher of the two. The, the, the program will, is designed to pick the higher of the two scores. So this is, an, this is a helpful thing for you. There's not a time limit on test three. I need to go in and change that before you get that far. I hope I don't forget. And then you would have unlimited time. Maybe I won't. We'll see. And there you have your other... Uh, assignments. There's a midterm review. You need to do that prior to taking the midterm. I'll be sending that information out as we get closer to time uh, when I know more um, about how you're going to take that and how we're going to proctor it. Might be proctored over Zoom, uh, might be able to schedule you a time in the testing center. I may ask you if, if you're not in Magnolia, if you are, say, in Little Rock, is there a facility somewhere where you would feel comfortable? Having someone proctor you, maybe your high school counselor would proctor your exam for you if you're uh, comfortable going there. And, and I know that the COVID-19 uh, regulations will play into that. So don't feel like you're going to be forced to be around anybody you're not supposed to. Uh, we're just looking at options at this point. So that's where you're going to do most of your work. Now, as you're in here working your homework problems, I really want to show you this. You're in here and you're clicking on question one and you're working away. Maybe you know this answer, and it's super easy, and um, you don't need any help. But if you do need some help, there are these wonderful tools up here called Question Help, and you click on them, and 
it will help you solve this problem. Now, if it helps you solve it, you're not going to get credit for it. They're going to give you a parallel problem for you to work on. Or you could click view an example, and it'll show you a similar problem. You could print this. You could print the entire assignment if you go in there and, and Google around. Um, there are options. That one didn't have it, but some of them are going to allow you to email your professor uh, when we get on over here, probably on the tougher questions. These are these are fairly simple. Uh, let's go down maybe to question 36. We'll see what the uh, textbook. You could go to the area of the textbook. You could view an example. You could ask for um, help. You're going to see a lot of options here, and sometimes it'll say, ask my professor, and if you will click there, it'll shoot me an email, and I'll be able to pull that exact question up. And I'll probably just make you a little video and send it back to you on how to on how to handle that. So you are allowed to redo your homework as many times as you want to until you get 100 on every assignment. And I would encourage you to do that because every 100 you get on a homework assignment, I'll give you a bonus point on a test, a chapter test, not a midterm or a final. Here's your course information. Um, read that. Your syllabus is also attached here. Lecture notes. Here you go, guys. You've got the textbook. You've got embedded videos. Now you've got study guide video for part one, study guide video part two, study guide video part three. You'll want to look at those uh, to help you with your study guide. Here is your notes for one one and videos to accompany those. Those are me, made them, stuck them on YouTube, put the link in there. Um, take you to one right quick. It's 33 minutes long. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have made it so long. Uh, I did better as, as I went on in the course. I tried to make them shorter. Um, that's course uh, lecture notes. So be sure you, and the unit circle is here in case you need to print it again. Your identities are here in case you need those. And your grade book when you start doing your work. Chapter contents. Here's your chapters. Um, all uh, you don't these these are not your assignments. Your assignments are under the assignment tab. These are just here for your resource. Chapter contents, tools for success, that's where you're going to find um, just little helpful things. Graph and calculator help, multimedia library, it's going to have at, just resources there. Uh, learning guide, we're, we're going by the assignments under the assignments tab. We're not following the learning guide here. So, guys, I hope that this has helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me um, and ask. Uh, reach out in any way that you can. Uh, my information is in the syllabus, and it's in the email. So, I hope that you have a wonderful semester. I look forward to having you in class. And look for, um, look for us to have some type of discussion board pop up here at the bottom of this tab as we proceed. Um, so thank you very much.